What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood coming to you from the Warner Brothers lot. I have officially crashed the set of the new TBS sitcom, Ground Floor. Mic check, mic check. Okay, um, mic check, one, two, one, two. It's getting real, it's going down, mic two. Is that, that's a good mic text. I yeah. feel like, yeah. That works. So here I am on set mm -hmm. with you guys, and John McEnroe is guest starring. Yeah. Yeah. Are I'll you a fan of John McEnroe? I, d he, I don't know who he is. How does anybody know who he is? It's like a baseball player? Who's John McEnroe? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Hockey? You're kidding. Baseball, right? Stop. It's baseball. Wait. I recognize his name. He's football. Not football. Um, Hockey. Not hockey. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. What? Uh, Keep going through the sports. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. Um, tennis? Tennis. Tennis! I made it. Okay. She's a great actress, though. Great. Like, hilarious. Thank you. Thank God you got that going for you. <laughs> Screw the sports. Yeah, no, I'm not a big sports fan. I have so many obsessions and, design, and like interests that like if I had sports on top of that, my head would literally explode. Okay, so we were on set. Amazing. Yeah. It's like a pitch perfect reunion. Yeah, it is. How did that happen? How did what? Me and Skylar in this together? It's like coincidental. It's really weird. Did everybody break out into song? I think I would think it, that's what happened here. It was a bit of a of a musical episode. That's what I'll say. That's all I'll say. But yeah, no, we definitely sing a lot more when we're around each other. So you have Skylar on set yeah. every day. Yeah. Do you guys just break out into song everywhere you go? No, no. I mean sometimes, but. We really, we like dancing more than singing. We really? Dance. Yeah, we'll just break out into some let's dance. Let's see. We'll just start. Just start On your feet. Let's see what you got. Oh, I don't want to see. I just it start with a stretch, and then the stretch turn into a pump, <laughs> and then the pump turn into a bounce, and then shutting it down. And yeah. yeah. So workplace comedy. Mm -hmm. Back before you were an actress. Yes. Give me like your worst experience work wise. I got a bunch of those, but I'm going to I'm going to narrow it down back to when I was maybe 16 or 17. I work at I worked at this pet store um, that I always wanted to work at growing up. The worst part about this job. Now it sounds like a dream, I know. They <laughs> threw me in. They threw me in the rodent room for like oh, 5 no. months. There's no windows, there's no ventilation, there's no there's nothing. There's just a, like about 20 cages of giant rats, baby rats sick hamsters, all the size mice you can get. But the worst about it There's was, more? was the smell in there. It's the worst smells in the world. Uh, not as yeah. bad as snake poop, that's the worst. What does so, snake poop look like? Um, Is it like a little it, pellet? It's, no, 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 no. It's like solid, long waves. I mean, it depends on how big the snake is, but if you think about it, they digest the entire animal. So, so it looks there, like so, the snake. So sometimes there's fur on the poop. Take me back to your early jobs before you were an actor. Give me your worst job experience ever. I worked at a printing press company uh, where we did we put the uh, adhesives on the back of uh, money bands, and it was just endless and mindless. Uh, I'm sure today that's all just computerized and done by robot, but it was uh, it was a uh, uh, an assembly line job, and it was. Mind-numbing. <laughs> Rory, you're late. Seat is empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I stand. I have to stand for my interviews. You have to stand? Yeah. It's contractual. So, what's cooler, I think? It's fun. Do you have a story? A good work story? Um, I, I don't, because I worked in a very boring uh, situation. It was uh, with a uh, contracting firm uh, for the Department of Defense in Washington, D.C. Oh. I answered telephones and then I kept track of how many people called during a day. And then I sat online and looked at websites wow. all day. Did you acquire a porn habit at that point? No, I mean, I should have. <laughs> I, I literally saw all of the websites possible. <laughs> in, in 2004, I knew every website available. We were talking about old jobs. Okay. Obviously, this is a workplace comedy. Right, and good segue. You like that? Yeah. Oh, we're, there's like, I got tons of those coming okay. up for every subject I need to tackle so with you. So are we going into my my job? I my want to know, job? before you became... An actor. Epically famous for being an adorable actor. and talented, an actor. Your worst job experience. Worst? Worst. 
one I hate, I worked as a deli boy at an organic deli in New York. At Ben's, right? At, no, <laughs> it was a place called Back to Earth. It's a great place. I just, um, it was tough. We had to make juices and smoothies and on top of deli stuff and, and, and cleaning out the juicer was always really difficult. And a lot of times it, the, the kale or a lot of greens would get like caught in the juicer. <laughs> Ugh. And when that would happen, it would make that sound like the like, and then you got to clean it out. While this person's like waiting for their 48 ounce all green juice, which takes like an hour <laughs> each to do. So that was a nightmare. That does sound nightmarish. It would like sometimes bust like three times for like one juice. You wanna talk about Ground Floor? I would love to. It is fun. It is a super hilarious cast. Uh, I play Brody Moyer, who is this upstairs, uh, really successful young money manager who generally when, when these characters are in movies or TV shows, they're always like the jerk. They're always like yeah. this entitled, I have so much money, I'm a fast talker kind of a guy. But it's really funny because he's really soft and he's just got so many flaws and you really get to see that. And they're really exposed to his relationships with Jenny, who's his um, lover, and uh, Mr. Mansfield, played by John McGinley, who is kind of his boss slash father figure. Yeah, and you're the love interest. I know, how fun is that? Well, let's <laughs> talk about it. It's really great, okay, let's talk about love. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Do you love playing opposite him? Yes, I do. It is so fun. This, you know, the context that this romance is in is so fun to, to play with and against. It's great. Are you comfortable? Hmm? Are you comfortable oh, in the chair? I'm absolutely comfortable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Because your leg is slightly over your head. Do you want to talk about my sneakers? Would you like to talk about your sneakers? I love them, and I would love to talk about them. If you guys cut this right, I'm going to look really charming. If you cut it wrong, I'm going to look like a giant D. Douchebag? Yes. Is that the word? Yeah. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. You're going with? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You said it, though. Thank you. You guys are screaming and right. bad words. Right. So we drop a couple bombs. Bombs and bombs. Uh huh. Uh huh. We get. I get one shit, a B word, and then an ass. I think we get a combination of two out of those three an episode. Speaking of shit, Alexis and I discussed snake Of course you did. We did. Because she's a herpetologist. <laughs> did she drop the herpetologist on you? She didn't use that word, but did you know that snake <laughs> has fur in it? Of course it does.